सो हाई एवरी वन माई नेम इज शिवम बोहरा आई एम अ थर्ड ईयर कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम देहरादून आई लव सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम एंड आई ऑल्सो लव टू टीच वेलकम टू आर चैनल लर्न कंपेटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग विद कोड शेफ सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कंपेटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग एंड वॉन्ट टू लर्न इन मास्टर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एलगोरिदम्स देन दिस इज अ वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू हेयर वी पोस्ट वीकली प्रॉब्लम एक्सप्लेनेशन conceptual videos on various programming paradigms and also conduct live problem solving sessions so before we actually get started here's a reminder for you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already yet so in this video we are going to solve vaccine distribution which appeared in december long challenge the difficulty level is cake walk and the prerequisites are none so this video is divided into three parts that is an explanation of the problem statement the approach to solve the above problem and a c++ code to demonstrate the above approach the problem statement says that the covid vaccine is finally out there and the shefland government wants to distribute it as early as possible there are a total of n number of people to be vaccinated and their ages are given to us there is only one hospital and d is the maximum number of people that can be vaccinated in that hospital per day so based upon their ages they are either said to be at risk or they are not at risk so if their age is less than or equals to 9 or if their age is greater than or equals to 80 then they are said to be at risk while the rest of the people are not at risk now the only condition that needs to be fulfilled in this question is that a person at risk and a person not at risk can't be vaccinated on the same day so let's say we have some people and out of these people if we want to vaccinate 9 and 80 on the same day then yeah it is possible to vaccinate them both on the same day since they both belong to the same category of being at risk similarly 10 and 11 can also be vaccinated on the same day since they both are not at risk but 9 and 10 can't be vaccinated on the same day since one is at risk while the other is not so coming back to the question our aim is to find the minimum number of days to vaccinate all the people that is both who are at risk as well as those who are not at risk so the summary is we have one hospital d is the maximum vaccinations that can be done per day n is the total number of people to be vaccinated their ages are given to us based upon their ages they are either at risk or not at risk a person at risk and a person not at risk can't be vaccinated on the same day and our aim is to find the minimum number of days to vaccinate all the people for example if n equals to 6 that is there are six people the ages of six people are given to us and d equals to 2 that is a maximum of two vaccinations can be done per day then let us first categorize these six people into the two categories so under the at risk category we have 9 80 and 81 since the condition was to be at risk your age should be less than or equals to 9 or greater than or equals to 80 and under the not at risk category we have 10 11 and 12 so an optimal solution to find the minimum number of days would be on day 1 we will treat 9 and 80 since they both are at risk on day 2 we will treat 10 and 11 since they both are not at risk on day 3 we can't treat 81 and 12 since one is at risk and one is not at risk so we have to treat or we have to vaccinate them separately on two different days so our answer would be 4 another interesting thing to be observed over here is that the minimum number of days required to vaccinate the at risk category is 2 since we can vaccinate two of them on one day and the remaining one on the second day similarly to vaccinate the not at risk category we would also require two days and 
to vaccinate all the people the days required are four so i can say that the total minimum days to vaccinate all the people is equals to the minimum days to vaccinate the at risk category plus the minimum days to vaccinate the not at risk category so our approach here is pretty simple firstly we will find the minimum number of days to vaccinate the people who are not at risk and then we will find the minimum number of days to vaccinate the people who are at risk and then finally we will add them both to get the minimum number of days to vaccinate all the people so let us first count the people who are not at risk so as you can see over here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 people who are not at risk so the count of people who are not at risk is equals to 7 so the count here is 7 and the maximum vaccinations per day is 3. So on the first day, we will vaccinate the first 3 people. On the second day, we will vaccinate the next 3 people. And on the third day, we will vaccinate this remaining one. So on dividing the count by the maximum vaccinations per day, I'll get 2.33, which means that it would take 2 complete days and 1 partial day to vaccinate all these people. Since there is no such thing as a partial day in our question, so it would take three complete days to vaccinate all these people. Similarly, if we had six people instead of seven, then on dividing this count by the maximum vaccinations per day, I'll get two, while the answer here is also two. So I can say that the minimum days to vaccinate the people not at risk would be the quotient if the remainder is equal to 0 or quotient plus 1 if remainder is greater than 0. So in this case where 7 is divided by 3 the quotient is 2 while the remainder is 1. So it would be quotient plus 1 where it would be 2 plus 1 as the remainder is greater than 0. So it would it would take 3 days to vaccinate all these people. Similarly, for the at risk category, the count is 2, d equals to 3. So on dividing the count by 3, I'll get quotient as 0 and remainder as 2. So the minimum days would be quotient plus 1 as the remainder is greater than 0, which equals to 0 plus 1, which equals to 1. So it would take one day to vaccinate all the people under at risk category. So moving on, the minimum days to vaccinate the people not at risk was three and for the at risk category, it was one. So the minimum days to vaccinate all the people would be three plus one, which is four. So our answer here is four. Moving on to the code. Firstly, I'll input T to store all the test cases after that, I'll use a loop of i to iterate throughout the test cases. After that, I'll input n and d, that is the number of people to be vaccinated as well as the maximum vaccinations that can be done per day. After that, I'll use a loop of j to iterate throughout n and to count the people who are at risk as well as to count the people who are not at risk. After that, I'll store the quotient part of the not at risk category divided by D plus the quotient part of the at risk category divided by D. After that, I'll simply check if the not at risk category was completely divided by D or not. So if it had any remainder, I'll simply increment the answer by one. And similarly, I'll increment the answer by one if the at risk category had any remainder. So after that, I'll simply see out the answer and this completes the whole code. The time complexity for this approach is big of n for each test case. So now let's submit the code. So copy. And paste, submit, 